And that weird lighting again. And I'm also your grandmother. How are you doing? How are you eating? How's your friend? What's his name? How's he doing? How's his mother? Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my couch where we will not be talking about things. You can hear you all singing and running. It's fine. We're going to be heading outside to take a look at the new plants that have sprung up out there. It's a lovely day, it's overcast, it's rainy, and so let's just go ahead out there. Let's just get started. Let's just jump directly into it before Yule just erupts into childish laughter. All right, so we are outside again. We're gonna go ahead and walk around and see what new things have sprung up since the last time we did this video. I know that last time I wanted to find some buttercups and some wild strawberries, and we have them this time. Yeah, there we go. Some little wild strawberries growing here. Wild strawberries are great for magic that has to do with longevity. Strawberry. Yeah, anything that you want to last a really long time. Wild strawberries can last for up to 10 years. They're very tenacious, so they're great to add to magic. They're also a great addition to any kind of fertility magic. Also used in love magic as well. I like to use them as offerings. Strawberries and wild strawberries are great offerings. If you work with nature spirits, they're very special because sometimes they grow very few and because they also get snapped up really quickly by little creatures that eat them. So using the actual little strawberry as an offering or in your fertility magic and then using the leaves. The leaves are great for abundance and prosperity as well. I love them. Oh, in our backyard we have a wild black cherry tree. It's also known as bird cherry. There are so many different types of cherry trees. It's hard to kind of differentiate which one is which. But <laughs> If you have any of these, if you see any of these little cherry trees like this, these little buds are so perfect for love magic and for protective love. Like if you're doing um, any kind of bonding with friends or with a loved one, this is something really great to add to that kind of magic. This tree can grow in lots of different parts of the world. They're also very popular in the UK. So if you're someone who say is moving to a new place or you're getting a new job or something like that and you're worried about how adaptable you're going to be to that area, say you're moving somewhere really far away out of the country, adding this into a travel sachet or having some displayed in your new home can help to kind of ease your transition into this new world or new life that you're heading into. Yule is upset because we're standing still. I love azaleas so much. Yule, it's okay. You don't have to fake cry. They're wonderful, beautiful plants of abundance. As you can see, it's just completely covered with flowers and they are so gorgeous, but they're also toxic. I think that that lends a really beautiful sort of protective element to anything that you hold dear. Yule couldn't stand to stand there while I was talking about it, but azaleas are also really wonderful. In a lot of different parts of the world, people consider them to be um, very elegant and to add elegance to any person. So if you're wearing them in your hair or you have them in your home, they are a symbol of royalty and of beauty and of Think about like a young assassin, like a young, beautiful, crazy assassin who is very, um, very tempting and very gorgeous and you're very much drawn to them, but they're also extremely dangerous. So that's how I think of azaleas and I think they're great to use in any kind of magic where you are trying to become more bold and more powerful, more assertive, but also very protective of yourself and just very strong. Just like a big old beautiful assassin, like I said. Okay, and we're coming up on some buttercups, so I really hope that you'll chill out for a second so I can talk about that. <laughs> buttercups. Buttercups. <laughs> they're used Thank to you. bring joy and happiness into any kind of magical happiness. working. Yeah, they're very beautiful, but they are also poisonous as well. Well, there are a lot of legends about where they get their name. One legend is that when cows eat them, their milk is buttery and delicious. However, they are very toxic to cows and give them horrible sores in their mouths. So cows don't really want to eat them unless they're desperate for food. <laughs> Put them on their purse. Okay. There you go. Uh, that legend doesn't really lend anything nice to the story of buttercups. However, there is another story about buttercups where like, a really wealthy traveler who was traveling and so they saw him and they pretended to be beggars and they asked him for some money, just like a little bit of money, like, could you spare anything? And he was like, no, you know, really rude and just awful. And so they sliced a small 
hole in his money sack and then as he was walking he was just dropping coins along the way and those coins turned into buttercups which of course I enjoyed that story a lot because there he is. So with that in mind the use of buttercups is very much um, to bring humility into any kind of working so that the person who is doing the magic is really respectful of the land, respectful of anything that happens for them. They will be very responsible with whatever money that they do make and they will show that by giving back to the community or giving offerings to the fairies or just being someone who isn't a crazy money miser, you know what I mean? You can also use them in happiness magic if you'd like to. <laughs> I think also that buttercups are really great to be used in glamour magic because of the fact that the fairies disguise themselves to find out his true uh, his true soul, his true personality. So I think that they are really great to use in glamour magic as well. But like I said before, all with humility. Yes, look at all the honeysuckles, they're beautiful. Honeysuckles are great to use in wine and they're also really great to use as fairy offerings especially when you make them into wine yourselves and offer the wine they are a wonderful flower of mindfulness they help you to forget the past or not to hold on to negative things in your past if you're someone who's trying to move on from a situation honeysuckles are great here comes a car yeah honeysuckles are great to help you release any anger or any stagnant energy that you have they're also very strong and their stems were used to make rope and just like with the azaleas there's a sense of very strong beauty a very protective a very strong independent sort of beauty they're really great for strengthening the mind and giving you a lot of peace of mind as well as stimulate your mind so for concentration for meditation anything where you're working with creativity because they really stimulate your brain and they make you um, think of things in a way that you wouldn't think before and they're just you beautiful. I, <laughs> Here you are. Oh. They're also really great for anti-stress, like I said. Anything that has to do with you holding on to memories or ideas that aren't serving you anymore, that aren't doing well for you, honeysuckle is great to add to magic for that. All right, let's go. <laughs> also, did you see these little seed pods here? We used to call them helicopters in school because we would just throw them up in the air and watch them fall or fairy wings. These are really great for prosperity. These are a really wonderful thing to add to prosperity magic. You can take out the seed from the bottom here and dry them and add those seeds to any kind of new ideas or new workings that you're doing or anything where you're trying to start something new. The seeds are great for it and any kind of money magic you're just trying to bring in some money, some cash, some dough. This part is really great for that as well. So that's all the plants we're gonna do today because Yule is very restless and he needs to go, go, go. So we're gonna go grab some food and run some errands. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. I know that some of these things can be found almost anywhere like those little helicopter pods. <laughs> They are all over the place. So gather those things up. There are so many things just laying around outside that we consider weeds or trash or just yard mess that can definitely be used in magic. So have a wonderful day, guys. Then you all started freaking out, so I couldn't give you a proper goodbye. But I hope you guys have much success finding these things outside of your home. Have a beautiful, lovely day. Live magically and call your mom and tell her you love her. Okay, bye.